Since dy divided by dx is called f of x, another way to write down the distance traveled during this moment of time is f of x multiplied by dx. This equation, f of x multiplied by dx, also happens to be the area of the rectangle representing what happens during this moment of time. The area of the rectangle is length multiplied by width, which is f of x multiplied by dx. Therefore, the area of this rectangle is exactly equal to the distance traveled during this moment in time. The area of the entire graph is the sum of all the individual rectangles. Therefore, the area of the entire graph is the sum of all the different values of f of x multiplied by dx. We use this symbol to indicate the sum of all the different values of f of x multiplied by dx. We call this the integral of f of x. The integral of f of x represents the area of the entire graph, with the yellow rectangles having negative area. In this case, we are interested in the area of the graph between the time where x is 0 and the time where x is 10. We represent it like this and we call this the integral of f of x from 0 to 10.